Brothers and sisters in blue say a Boston police officer is lucky to be alive. A bulletproof vest kept him from taking a gunshot right to the chest in Dorchester last night. And today the accused shooter stood before a judge. WBZ's Tammy Mutasa is live at Boston Police Headquarters tonight. Tammy, we're seeing so much support for this officer today. David, absolutely. And tonight, the department and the community are so grateful that officer is back home and that his bulletproof vest saved his life. In the meantime, the suspect accused of shooting him is facing 10 charges and shouldn't have had a gun in the first place. If you're going to assault a police officer, you should be held responsible for it. It affects every man and woman that's wearing a uniform. In a show of solidarity and strength for one of their own, Boston police officers filled a courtroom today as 31-year-old Avery Lewis faced a judge accused of firing a semi-automatic gun at a police officer. I'm so sorry for that. That was Lewis's mom apologizing to the injured officer while leaving court. Shot fired. All right, shots fired on Esmond. The people can start heading that way. 94 Esmond, shots fired. It was on this Dorchester Street that prosecutors say Lewis shot the officer in the chest last night. Police had responded to a frantic 911 call about Lewis showing up armed to an apartment where the mother of his child was. We have one officer that was hit in the vest by a gunshot. He's alert and conscious. After a foot chase and a struggle, the officer was hit on the left side of his chest. Thank goodness the police officer was wearing his vest. Thank goodness the, that he survived. Larry Calderon heads the Boston Police Patrolmen's Association. He says it's because of that vest the officer is alive. He hopes it's a reminder to all officers to keep it on. It's a reminder of how dangerous the job is. And I don't think that most people recognize the vest as being one of the most important tools that we have. According to the police report, police found crack cocaine hidden on Lewis's body. The gun was loaded with 14 live rounds. Lewis also has been previously convicted of gun charges, which means he shouldn't have been allowed to carry a weapon in the first place. The amount of weapons out that are on the street illegally, uh, that's a serious problem here in Boston and Massachusetts in general. Lewis is being held without bail. He pleaded not guilty. Live in Boston, Tammy Matassa, WBZ News. Tammy, thank you.